Welcome to our Python programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many developers encounter when working with unit tests. Our viewer is trying to implement a string calculator using test-driven development, but they're running into a problem where their tests aren't being recognized. Let's dive into the details of their question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the issue you're facing with your unit tests in Python. When you run your test file, it reports that zero tests were executed. The problem lies in the naming convention of your test method. In Python's unit test framework, test methods must start with the word test to be recognized as tests. After renaming the method, your test should be recognized correctly. Now, let's run the test file again to see if it detects the test. If everything is set up correctly, you should see that one test was run and it should fail because the add function currently returns one instead of zero for an empty string. To fix the failing test, you will need to update the add function to return zero when the input string is empty. This will ensure your test passes. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're seeing the message ran zero tests in point zero 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 x, it might be because you placed the unit test main execution block inside your test class. This can prevent tests from running. The solution is simple. Move the execution block outside of the class. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're seeing zero tests run in Python's unit test, it might be due to mixing tabs and spaces in your code. This often happens when copying code from online sources. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of running zero tests in Python's unit test, one user found that adding an init.py file to the test directory fixed the problem. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user encountered an issue where no tests were run in their Python unit test. The problem stemmed from a prefix space in the code. They provided a sample test case for a string calculator, but the indentation was incorrect. To fix the issue, the user needs to ensure that the code starts at the first column without any leading spaces. They provided the corrected code snippet for clarity.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the issue of running zero tests in Python's unit test, avoid defining the init method. Instead, use setup, which unit test will automatically call. Also, if you have a run method, rename it to run to resolve the problem. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.